In the early days, there was a ton of optimism about nuclear power. People thought that it was really a world-changing technology, and pretty soon, essentially everything would be running on nuclear energy. But a combination of economics, accidents, public opinion, um, really changed the story of nuclear power. Even though Argonne National Lab first came out of the Manhattan Project during World War II, the real goal of Argonne was to develop peaceful uses of nuclear energy, particularly nuclear power. I think Argonne's role in nuclear nowadays is really multifaceted. I mean, we play a big role in the safety of new nuclear designs, but we also play a major factor in the sustainability of the nuclear reactor fleet out there currently. For advanced reactors, we've been trying to increase the safety, especially using passive safety systems, which are safety systems that don't require any electricity or human intervention to work. Um, but that's not to say that the nuclear power plants out there now are not safe. Uh, we do some of the most rigorous safety analysis out of any industry. I think the biggest hurdle to nuclear energy has really been the economic side of it. We have we've struggled to make it cost competitive with other energy sources that are out there. But currently there are many new nuclear reactor startup companies that are looking at different ways of addressing this problem. They've actually kind of taken a step back and looked at older reactor technology and trying to determine a way to reshape it that's economically competitive. At Argonne, we work with a lot of these new advanced reactor startup companies, and I think this has been a key role for Argonne to take the basic research that's being done at the lab and to help companies bring it to the marketplace and commercialize it. Well, I think many people know bits and pieces of the nuclear energy story. They know some of the accidents, or maybe they've lived near a nuclear power plant but they don't know the whole tale about how we got from where we were in 1945 to where we are now. How we took this technology that was originally developed for weapons and developed a peaceful use for it. I'm very excited for the Out Loud lecture. I always enjoy telling a good story and I feel there are a few stories that is interesting as the history of nuclear power.